course, I'm your host, Belsif. Why wouldn't I be? I did a few things today. I shaved, now I look fat again. Well, I am fat, but... And it's snowing out again. Summer, fall, summer, fall, summer, fall. How you doing, winter? Why wouldn't you? As you can see, the old Chevy Silverado's uncovered because I put my seat back in. I got my seat, it's all been padded, and it feels a lot better, nice and softer now. I didn't put the shifter in, as you can see, because I didn't. I don't want to lose my cup holder, and I don't care if I have to shift it, to be honest with you, up here. So, whoever said don't do it, you won. Whoever said do it, you lost, Captain. Look at her, she looks mint now. It's all back together again. Don't take me long to do something when I want to do it. It's just a matter of doing it. But on that hand, as you know, I, I tuned the old Chevy Silverado out here. And, oh. And I got some parts stuck in the exhaust, so I had to cut the muffler out to get rid of that. If you look in here, there's the old muffler. It's just a pretty big one in this. So I got these other mufflers here that I'm gonna try to put one of them in instead and leave that one out. I ain't no stranger. That looks like a damn Ford Ranger. Careful. So anyways, right now I'm running a straight pipe for exhaust. Check this out. Listen to this thing, Jim. I feel like a kid again. Ready? shaft in it too. Okay, maybe a TC2 camshaft. How you doing? Kind of sounds cool, but it's loud. So that's why I gotta put the mufflers back in it. But I got no dash lights. That's a good thing. My neighbors must freaking hate you right now. I'm gonna drive my neighbors crazy I am with this exhaust, but hey, I don't care. It is what it is. All I can say is, sorry about that. Why wouldn't I? Frig. This snow ain't letting up. See, my neighbor just come out with his two dogs there to take him for a walk. I never see him. I didn't even know he had two dogs. He's been over here for over a year. He's got some good dogs, he does. Every time we do a video, a train goes by. Every time. Doesn't fail. There he is. How you doing? One engine. Well, I'll be dipped. Anyways, that's it. I got, like I said, one ice still sitting there. I got an order controller, which I haven't done yet because there's no rush. I got other things on the go. I did put my trailer up for sale and I got it all uncovered. And this, hi, Mew Mew. And this, that, the other thing. Perfect time. You know, I uncovered it just in time for snow. So that's all right. Sometimes you got to uncover stuff just as it, you know, starts to snow out because that's what we do. But everything wintered good. There's no new surprises or nothing. So that's good. We'll have to see if that sells. It's on Marketplace right now. This thing here somehow got talked into maybe getting it running again. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a hard decision. The only thing I do know is why the hell am I outside in the snow? Let's go inside where it's nicer out. By inside, I mean the garage. All right, there we go. Look, I still have last summer bugs on the windshield. Frig. Why wouldn't I? I feel kind of bad because I really didn't even take you for a ride along on the putting the seat back in and stuff or pulling the exhaust off the truck, but I did that at work on the hoist where he took the exhaust off. So, you know, oh, by the way, happy thing, or what, what is today? Shamrock Day, what is that? Happy, um, happy, um, St. Patty's Day. That's what it is. Holy, brain a little slow there for a minute, I apologize. Should maybe wash this jacket too. This jacket's kind of dirty. I mean to wash it, but I haven't got around to it. Should probably do that. Should probably think about what I'm gonna make for dinner too. And I definitely gonna start to go on a diet soon because I gotta lose some weight. All my friends are losing weight around me. My boss is losing weight and all this and the other thing. So I feel left out, so I gotta lose some weight. I just ordered some new coveralls for work. 
because my stomach hurts that much with a belt on when I bend over to do stuff. So if you bend over and your belt digs into your gut, you're too fat, let me tell you what. Or if you bend over and all of a sudden you can't breathe anymore, you're too fat, Joe. Or if you, you have a hard time, you know, reaching your shoe to tie it up, you might be a little overweight. And one way for sure you know is if you have a hard time wiping your ass. If you're gonna rely on your bidet, then you're definitely time to maybe lose some weight, Jim. So that's where I am right now. I'm right at that breaking level. If I gain any more weight, I'm in trouble. If I lose a little bit of weight, I'm better off. So I'm gonna start eating brown rice every day. Brown rice and eggs. And uh, you know, a little bit, maybe a little cup of, what do you call that stuff? Something's not functioning today up here. I think it's because it's Sunday and I'm lazy. Yogurt, that's what I'm gonna say. Yogurt and some bran in the morning. Then I'm gonna have some salad for lunch made with a little bit of chicken in it. And then I'm gonna have uh, rice and chicken for dinner or rice and, rice and veggies or something. I'm gonna change her up. I'm gonna try to go a little healthier, see if I lose anything. I should start working out in the morning, but if I start to lose some weight, I'll be able to work out more at work, so. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're trying to lose weight right now or if you're thinking about it or if you don't care or if you want to or if you don't want to or whatever. Just leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think because I'm curious. Took this old truck for a ride yesterday in Sarnia to get some fuel in it. It rode good. I should have took you. Why did I take you yesterday? I can't think why. Oh, I know why because I was going to take Melanie and she didn't, she wanted to go so... I got out and started the truck up and then she got frigging around the house and I was waiting for her and I got frustrated and I said, are you coming or not? What's going on? Yes. And then, so I waited another 10 minutes and then she still didn't come and then I ended up leaving because I got frustrated because she didn't want to go all of a sudden. So that's why I didn't take you because I was frustrated. And then I got out in the truck and I thought to myself, man, for wrist pin knocking, slapping piston engine, this thing runs pretty good. It does. Didn't miss a beat. I adjusted the timing a little bit and it seemed to have a little bit more go too. So I got to get this timing adjusted. I think the timing mark is off on the balancer on this engine, which is not the stock balancer. So it could very well be. So I think I got to maybe do a timing by eye. I don't know. I'm not sure. Got to put some training fluid in though. I lost a lot of that from sitting. You know what old cars and trucks are like? They sit and they like to puke out all the friggin' training fluid for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, Go Logistics, how you doing? Somebody got some Amazonians today. We're gonna write the news. It stopped snowing again. So I need to go back in the house now to stop snowing and maybe do a little edit. Yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. So hopefully everybody's having a good day like me and I'll see you on the next one.